May I now request Sri Ajay Jain, Principal Secretary to the Government, to share his thoughts with us. Sri Ajay Jain is an IAS officer of 1991 batch. He has worked as a district collector, Kurnool and Rangaredi, and has done commendable work in land administration matters. As Chairman and Managing Director of AP Genco, he has improved the power generation and increased the power supply to surplus status. Mr. Ajay Jain is working as chairman of APSHCL, wherein the government is proposing to construct 25 lakhs of houses in a period of five years. He is also heading the department of GVWV and VSWS department, a revolutionary concept in the administration where the schemes and benefits of the government to people, particularly to the poorer sections, is taken to the doorsteps of the people. May I request Mr. Ajay Jain to please share his thoughts with us. Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Shri Y.S. Jagan Monredi Garu, Honorable Ministers Panchayat Raj, Shri Ramchandra Reddy, Honorable Minister of Education, Shri Shuresh, Naveen our Director, Satyana our Special Secretary of Finance, Mr. Dharanjay Reddy Advisor, then our MD of NPCI, uh, Mr. Dilip SP, Chairman of Chairman and MD of Canada Bank, Mr. Prabhakar, and all other dignitaries. First of all, I would like to thank Honorable Chief Minister. Sir, today is a red letter day as far as this department of VSWS is concerned because for the benefit of others, our Honorable Chief Minister has launched this village and ward secretariat concept in line with Mahatma Gandhi's vision of Gram Swarajim. For every 2000 rural population, there is a village secretariat consisting of permanent employees about 10 to 11 in number. Similarly, for every 4,000 population in urban areas, there is a ward secretariat. And not only this, for every 50 to 100 households, there is a volunteer. So whole idea is to bring governance at the doorsteps of the people. And about 545 services are being offered to the citizen. And from January 26th, this has been operational. Already about 8 million transactions have been done. And today we have touched almost daily 100,000 transactions are happening every day. So, so far it was only through cash, but now in line with Prime Minister Modi's vision of digital India and financial inclusion, Honorable Chief Minister has directed the department to tie up with the uh, National Payment Corporation of India and Canada Bank with this uh, cashless transactions, particularly in COVID times, would be made uh, enabled in all 15,004 village and ward secretariat. Any citizen from almost 35 departments, 545 services he wants to avail can simply come. He should have a smartphone with the UPI app and then the payment would be generated and a unique QR code will pop up in the portal. He has to, the customer or the citizen has to just scan the code and the money would be transferred to our account. And the customer as well as our secretariat gets the confirmation. So I think this is the first of its kind, the largest of its kind initiative in the entire country and would not have been possible but for the guidance provided by Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Minister. So, and we are really thankful to NPCI and Canada Bank. I am sure that this would transform the digital governance in the state of Andhra Pradesh and would be a trendsetter as far as the country is concerned. So once again, I take this opportunity to thank everybody associated with this project. And I'm sure that in the days to come, Andhra Pradesh would become the leader as far as the digital governance and digital payments are concerned. Thank you.